What's up guys, Jimmy from Mountain Bike Travel Review here and today I'm going to show you an easy way to winterize your tow along camper on a budget. Now if you watch my latest review video on the Escapade camper, one thing that you notice in the video is that I don't have a garage on my house. And living here in New England, that's a big problem. So I found a way to wrap it up using some scrap wood I had laying around, a 20 by 30 tarp, some rope, and a couple clips. Now before we get started, make sure you smash that subscribe button below if you're a fan of the channel so you get updates on all the new camper videos. So step one for the camper wrap is going to be building a roof structure. As you can see the Escapade camper actually comes with a nice metal roof rack which allowed me to just build a 2x4 base and then build the rest of the roof structure off of that which will support the tarp above and around the camper. Now I'm not going to give you specific directions on this roof structure. Obviously it's going to vary by camper. A couple things to note, you'll notice with this design that I tried to make the roof structure as light as possible so that I could put it on and off the camper by myself. That's why there's rope in place of some of the in-between rafters. So that will still promote runoff of rain and snow, but obviously keep the weight of the structure way down. Another thing you'll notice here is these black pieces. This is actually old carpet that I cut up. I put this across all the corners or any sharp edges that could cut up the tarp when I hang it over the top. I'm using a pretty generic tarp here, so I want to make sure I don't put any big tears in the tarp and it'll last as long as possible. Now once you have your roof structure complete, of course the next step is to put the roof structure on top of the camper, make sure it all fits accordingly, and then I'll show you how I fastened this structure down to the roof rack to secure it in place long term. In order to secure the roof structure to the roof rack, there's multiple different options, but I found a very cool product called Night Eyes Gear Tie, which is actually a metal tie with a nice rubberized coat on the outside that allows me to attach and remove this roof rack with ease. If you want to check these products out, check out the description below the video. I'll throw a link in there to the Night Eyes Gear Ties. Once we have the roof structure in place, the next step is going to be to pull the giant tarp over the top of the camper and start the wrapping process. For this, you'll likely want a helper, though you can do it yourself. It's going to be much easier with two people. As far as the tarp that I used, I found a 20 by 30 foot multi-purpose tarp that was perfect to wrap around the whole camper. It was around 60 bucks on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description below if you want to check out the tarp that I used. Once you have the tarp completely over the camper, the next step is to take the rope that you have and secure the tarp down to the camper. Now there is no perfect method for doing this. I would simply tie down one corner, throw the rope underneath, connect it to the other side, and do one piece at a time. Of course, when we decided to wrap the camper, it was one of the windiest days of the year, which made it a little bit difficult. But after some trial and error, learning how to fold in some of the corners and using some metal clips underneath to keep the tarp in place, we got it all wrapped up nice and tight to survive the winter. One little trick that I figured out after our first rainstorm in this front area, the water would tend to pool once weighted down. So I went to my local hardware store, found some of these bendable metal rebars, popped them in place, held them there with some string, and this actually propped up the tarp so any further rain or snow would simply roll down the sides as opposed to pooling in the front of the camper. So at this point, I've had this wrap on the camper all winter long. Here you can see we had one of our six to eight inch snowstorms. Literally all I had to do was untie one corner, pop underneath the camper, get up there and just push the snow off real quick. Took me 10, 15 minutes max camper was totally safe. The tarp held all winter. Again, this may be a ghetto fix, but it cost me under $100 and wrapped the camper and kept it perfect all winter long. And that's all I needed. Well, I hope you guys liked the video and it was helpful. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you liked the video, smash that subscribe button. Feel free to leave your questions and comments below. Again, this wasn't a perfect method, very much trial and error, but it worked well for me and I hope it gave you some useful tips. We'll see you all next time.